Hello, what's up and servus. My name is Simon Mack and in this episode I'm going to show you how to be okay at solving the 2x2x3 twisty puzzle with just one algorithm. Here we go. Here we have the 2x2x3 twisty puzzle. Some call it a cuboid. And this one is fun. It is super easy to solve. You can solve it with just one algorithm. And that algorithm is... Shoop, boom. Front up, front up, front. Right up, right up, right. Front being the 2x3 side. The up layer is a 2x2 side. So we're going to hold it like this. This being the front. Now notice when it says front, you have to do... 180 degree turn. You can't do a 90 degree turn. Okay, that doesn't work. Now up, the up layer works just like on a regular cube. Okay, so there we have a 90 degree turn. So the apostrophe means counterclockwise, or we call that prime. So up, prime, that's the up layer, prime. Up without an apostrophe is up clockwise. So it's just front, Front one turn, up, counterclockwise, front one turn, up, clockwise, front, and then right, up, clockwise, right, up, counter, right. Now what you'll notice happened here is we switched these two around. These two are solved these two are switched around. So that's what that move does. It flips these two pieces around. So if I do it again, it'll flip these back into the right position. So front up, front up, front, front up, front up, front, right up, right up, right. Now those two are switched back into the correct position and that is solved. The rest of the cuboid is intuitive solving. Okay, so basically what you have to do to solve the whole thing is get the ends solid colors. So you might start out with, let's say you start out with something like this. All right, so here we have uh, two dark ones or two gray ones. Doesn't matter which one we're gonna focus on. I'll go with the dark ones, all right? These are not matched up, so I'm going to turn it to have one of them on this side. Now, when I turn this, it's going to end up here. So I'm going to match up the other dark one to end up next to it. So I'll put that here, match that up. Now they're next to each other, and now I'll bring it into this layer and turn it up. So now I have these four together. When those four are together, then obviously the opposite side is also solved. Now I just look for, are there any two equal next to each other? These two are the same, so two reds. These two are backwards. So now I do my move. Front up, front up, front. Front up, front up, front. And then right up, right up, right. Now I've solved that layer. Now I'm going to check to see is the other layer solved? Nope, but these two are next to each other, so on this side I'm going to flip these two around. Front, up, front, up, front, right, up, right, up, right. Now this is solved, and this is solved. The middle layer is super easy to solve. It doesn't require any algorithm. If you don't have any two next to each other, all, all I do is I only ever spin the right side. So I do right. If there are no two next to each other, I'll give it one quarter turn, right, another quarter turn, all right, so now we assess the situation. We have these matching, these are not. So now, if I have this situation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
Turn the right side and the top side, right? Flip the top twice, right? Flip the top twice, right? Flip the top twice, done. All right, you could have, let's see, is there any other situation that you might run into? Uh, yes. Okay, so you might run into this situation right here, where when you have these lined up, blue and blue matches, but the yellow and red are flipped backwards. In this case, again, we're just flipping the right side, but instead of turning the top layer, we are going to turn the middle layer. So, right side, flip the middle layer two times, right side, flip the middle layer two times. Boom. There you have it. Front up, front up, front. Right up, right up, right. That's all you need to solve this puppy. Good times. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. Um, if you have a 2x2x3, two by two by try it out. If not, it's worth getting. It's a fun little puzzle, and they're not very expensive. I think I got mine on Amazon. Even if you don't, I want to encourage you to try something new or do something you didn't think you could do. If you learned something in this video, like. If you haven't already, subscribe. Smash that notification bell. See you next time.